Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how to install PyCharm on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. First, we're going to want to make sure that we have Python installed, so go ahead and open up your terminal. Go ahead and check your version. And as you can see, I have Python installed, but if you do not have Python installed, then we're going to want to go ahead and install that. So we'll go ahead and type in this command. And go ahead and run that. And once that is done being installed, then we could go ahead and continue to PyCharm. The way we're going to be installing PyCharm is as a snap package. There are other ways to do this. You could download it from the JetBrains website. I will have that link in the description below. There are two options to PyCharm. There's the Professional Edition and the Community Edition. For the most part, you're probably going to be using the Community Edition, unless you're paying for the Professional. So we'll go ahead and run this command here. And this is the command that we're going to run. However, if you are installing the professional version, you'll just need to replace community with professional. So once you're ready, we'll go ahead and run this. And let that install. Now that that is installed, we'll go ahead and open it up. And here in this window is the terms. You could read that if you want, or you could just continue, click confirm. And data sharing is up to you. I will hit don't send, but if you want anonymous statistics, then go for it. Also, if you want to import your settings from VS Code, you can do so, but I don't have any settings to import, so I'll go ahead and skip this. And there you go, PyCharm is installed. As you see here, there's a couple options. We could create a new project, we could open a folder, or we could clone a repository, let's say from GitHub. To play around with this, we're going to go ahead and just hit New Project. And here you can see the name of our project, Python project, and you can see the location. If you want to change any of those options, feel free to do so. You could also create this as a Git repository, or you could also create a welcome script. I won't be doing either of those, but feel free to play around with those. And below that, you can see our interpreter type. This is for our virtual environment. We could either use project VNV, base conda, or a custom environment. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as the default. So now we can go ahead and create our project. And there you go. From here, we could actually create a new file. So we'll go ahead and right click on the folder. Go ahead and hit new. And see, you have a couple of options here. We're going to go ahead and do Python file. Now we can name this file. We'll go ahead and say test. And you don't have to add the file extension to this. Since we're creating a new Python file, PyCharm is interpreting that already, so they will include the .py for us. So go ahead and hit enter. And we'll just print out something simple. And we'll go ahead and run this. And you can see in our terminal, hello world is printed out. And if you also want to run the terminal in this window, you have the option to do so. On the bottom left, you could go ahead and click on this terminal icon and open this up. So from here, you can install packages as well, or you could go to a separate icon to do so. 
click here where it says Python packages and you could actually search packages to, to install. And with that being said, your environment is set up and you have the basic tools to get started. Feel free to explore and have fun.